What's up everybody, welcome back to Planet Cyrene. I was on Rocktropia and you know what, I thought I would be staying there for a while, but I ended up changing my mind when I heard there was a new version update here on Cyrene. They've been doing so much that I felt it was worth coming back and checking it out at least. And the tree cutting portion of it alone is pretty cool. Cyrene has added two new places for tree cutting I believe. And that is brand new, they never had any type of tree cutting in the past. But their new additions are this, Assault on the Imperium, I don't know what that is. And then there's with the rise of activity from the Imperium, the Ark and Zaconian Ministries have come together to keep watch and close tabs on the growing faction. Players can speak with the Tanhawk Wardlord Kizrin for missions to disrupt the Imperial plans. Loyal Ark soldiers are able to earn unique buffs from this area per day that will greatly help their combat prowess during by doing unique missions. The Zin Takano Sweat Gathering. Zin Psych Master Aten Ten has several missions for sweat collectors that will unlock both turn in missions and summonable bosses for skill increases. The culmination reward for this mission will be a synchronization chip, Limited, creating a more sweating conductive environment in conjunction with big industries. That's pretty big news. Big Industries had areas in Calypso, I believe Arcadia. I, I don't know because I don't really pay attention too much, but it's really cool that they're coming to Cyrene now. I really think that is a step in the right direction. Tree Harvesting. Players can now harvest trees in many locations on Cyrene to collect moon boards. There's also a weekly mission available at Tanhawk Immigration that will give you a random decoration or harvesting tool blueprint. They've added new music tracks to several areas, as you can hear. And there's been vendor changes. The following items now are available via turn-in missions and not vendors, so there's no wait time or vendor camping. The Ecotron V15E, 26B, and the V42B are all available through mission turn-ins now and not the vendors so before you'd have to loot the the um jeez oh, what is it the weapon voucher that's what it is you'd have to loot the weapon voucher one two or three uh the unlimited version and try to get the gun to actually be in the vendor well most times it wasn't available so they've actually changed it and with the tan hawk chain the tan hawk ambassador chain Oh nice, a little tiny one. Uh, the Tanhawk Ambassador chain used to have to have the vendor stocked, and it was never stocked. I had one friend, oh nice, another one, that waited months and months to try to get his gun, and it was horrible. I think it was like six months before he finally got his gun. It was, it was, I, I couldn't believe it, and as you can see, if you look at it, with the items that were given since they fixed this, look at all the HKs, HK, S1X1, BP, S1X4, HK, 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 BP, HK, 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 you see what I'm saying? So a lot of people have been waiting on this for a while. I guess a lot of people have been, well, I mean, who's going to wait around on Cyrene, especially after that? Like, you would feel pissed off if you had to wait months for a reward. A reward. And the Tanhawk Ambassador Chain is an epic chain. It's one of Cyrene's two epic chains. It is a very difficult one at that. At one portion of the chain, I believe you have to kill, uh, what is it? I think it's... I can't remember, but it, you have to go to the PvP Mountain and kill the Molten Golems and they are level 60 plus so it's also lootable uh, a friend of mine actually had a really bad incident where they left something in the vehicle and she went to help me and heal me in the pvp zone and got looted in the process oh, man it was horrible i mean accidents are you know accidents do happen but holy fuck like it is I've almost fell asleep with my greater power crystal and many other things flying and almost flew and crash landed right onto the PvP mount. But I managed to wake up and pull it together. Ended up logging out before then anyway. But 
it is a very tough mission chain so for those who had to wait for that that is absolutely crazy and it looks like a lot of people have held on to this for a long time obviously really I got lucky I went to Rocktropia and someone was checking the vendor for me daily and I got the message right away within like a week or two of finishing the mission and I believe I was pretty disgruntled about it myself at first because it's like here I am I'm, I'm ready to get my gun and there is no gun it's like what what do you mean there's no gun and here I am checking the vendor every day now and it's like I don't even know what to do should I should I stay here I was gonna stay on Cyrene and I was just so salty at that point that I figured you know what screw it I'm out of here and then someone uh, someone got sorry <clears throat> I was reading something there sorry someone messaged me and said that it was available I was like all right I got a warp there right away got the gun so awesome now my gun is up to tier 2.64 so I've had it for a bit I've used it quite a bit not a lot obviously it is just a little gun for fun but it's a shame that people had to wait so long for that reward to finally be changed you know what I mean so I can't remember where it was Well, I think it was definitely after this. Alright, just old messages. Alright, it's not a big deal anyway. I mean, I was just trying to show the fact that I was fairly disgruntled with it eventually, and I, and I messaged uh, the Cyrene devs and I was I wasn't rude I was just unhappy with the situation I mean anybody can understand that you wait so long for something and then you go and the vendor is completely completely empty 90% of the time I mean who's gonna be happy and thrilled with that right so I'm not sure what I started with with loot I think it was about 360 pet to be honest I, I wasn't paying attention this was more just about messing around with the panel lines trying to get one of those uh, pristine elements and giving a little update on what has gone through the VU this week there's been terrain and environment has been updated to reflect the current storyline with the, all the factions the respawn rates in Hunter's Cavern have been increased, so the creatures respawn a lot quicker. Uh, all acidic jellyworm maturities have affected the terrain around them, as well as increased in density. Katie Barnes' texture mission rewards have been reworked. The attempts are given now are 20. The blueprint levels are ascending to help with skill level targeting. The materials needed have been adjusted to be less reliant on uncommon drops. Uncommon drops. Several creatures have had their loot adjusted in an attempt to drop more shrapnel. This is something we will be paying attention to. Fixing several spelling and typographical errors across NPCs, items, and missions. Increase the spawn rate of both reward tokens, the lime green inside the hub, and the sirene token splinters. Adjusted several textures in the hub and arenas. Adjusted several creature spawns at player request. Adjusted perfected Imperium armor to have heavy power cells. Arc daily mining missions find to count for the missions has been reduced from 20 to 10. Added auction terminal to the rookie area, and empty wasps are now counting towards codex. Oops, I am shooting an unreachable mob. So there's been quite a few changes to Cyrene recently. It's not too bad. Hopefully we can get some of these elements though. That would be a huge change that I would definitely love to see, right? <laughs> As you can see, this little gun still works pretty good. This is the HK. It's not a bad gun. 
it's actually pretty good for the panel iron levels that I'm using. And uh, on DSEC, when I was doing the two and crossover chain, I got one of my biggest hops with this gun, which I thought was crazy. It was just over 1500 pet. It was one of the DSEC uh, CB box. I don't think I'll have that kind of luck on the panel lines just because I haven't really been hunting them a lot lately. And I haven't really been on Cyrene that much. I've been kind of traversing the galaxy, you know, going from place to place, trying to have some fun in the process. I think I'm heading to Ark next, to be honest. I gotta hit the Quorum Coast up. I've been dying to get there. And uh, to be honest, he's got an event tomorrow that I think I'm gonna go and check it out. Why not? I've screwed up on two of them. We went for a vacation. I missed another one because we were out and about. So I do not want to miss this next one. He's been doing a lot of good stuff up there. I'm really excited to see where it goes. I really like the way he's got the deed system set up on his on his little land area like that. That's a really cool idea. I gotta go and get involved in that. Just on the hunting portion, not anything else. Maybe mining, I don't know. I definitely like to go mining over there with a few amps. Oh, my hips are... I feel like an old dog right now. I'm sitting on a milk crate. I don't know why. I, this thing has been killing me. All my computer stuff is gone. So sad about that. I should have kept it a bit longer. Maybe then I just put it out at the curb when we left. That would have been okay. Because now I'm using a fucking workbench, man. It's bullshit. Toes are going numb. But we're all happy. We're all good, right? It's all love. Hopefully we can get a couple good things in this video. We got a small couple globals. Two in a row. That's decent. I love the noise, so I'm not going to complain, but I, I wouldn't mind if you added two or three extra zeros, or, you know, a one of those pristine paneline elements. That'd be pretty sweet. In all honesty. I mean, it's not like I haven't been dedicated to this planet. Well, that's actually, I can't say that, because I haven't been on this planet for the last little bit, right? <laughs> To be honest, I don't even know half the new things that they've put on it. I gotta go and check it all out. I used to know everything about Cyrene there for a while, but now my knowledge is coming down a little bit. But do you notice how we haven't gotten any tail tips in this run? Or have we? Did we get any? No, man, we haven't got any tail tips. Hopefully we can get something. Give me at least a 50 peg global. Jeez. I did go to Mini Mayhem, I was checking that out, but I guess I got there a day late, not a soul in the place, man. Just the old, just the, uh, just the mobs that I was checking out, that's it. I got there on the 30th, I guess it was already over. It's like, alright, whatever, head back to Rocktropia. I got to Rocktropia, spent like a day there, and it's like, alright, Siren's got a new update, better head back. Could've just stayed here from the get-go. Maybe I would have had one of those elements by now, right? If I just kept hunting the panel lines, you never know. I think you get better luck with the tail tips on the smaller ones, to be honest. Oh, there's another little global. It's a nice sound, though, isn't it? It's, it's nice to get the globals. I'll give it that. I really would like if they were a bit bigger, though. But the panel lines, they're pretty nice that way. They, they, they give a few. I think the one, what is it, I, the eights, their threshold's only like 10 pet, so they global quite a bit. Now, they're not always going to be huge, but... And then I think the uh, the old and up are 50. Like, you need uh, 50 or higher for a level 8 or higher, I believe. I believe that's how it goes. I'm not 100% certain, and I could be off on that, because I really wasn't paying attention the whole time in this video 
we almost got these these shots used up though and then we're gonna go check out what we got we need about 360 pet back and since I got a bunch of daily shit on me I mean it shouldn't be that hard the panel lines only drop so much stuff the one thing that is a real pain in the ass though is trying to get clicks for the textures here on Cyrene as you can see look at the pet value of this one hide is one pet and I've only gotten two this whole hunt. So out of 360 ped, I've only got two ped worth of hide. Not even enough for a single click on a blueprint. So you can see how difficult it is to make anything happen with the textures on this place. And that's not even the most expensive one. There is perfect hide, there's rough hide, there's creature hide. Uh, what's, and there's another one as well, I think it is. Regardless, they're all 4.7 ped each. So 4.70 ped TT. So for one of their hides to make a leather is 14 ped, 14.1 ped. That's an expensive click for a texture. That's just my opinion though. And it's very hard to get them. So 100 clicks is over 1400 ped. You know, and who's going to pay that for an item that you put that texture on? Like, if you take a 100 ped item and put a 1400 ped r crafting run worth of texture on that item, like, no one's going to want that. No one's going to pay that, what you spent back for that item. I don't think, anyway. I think the Cyrene textures really need to have some work done. A friend of mine, uh, Wolf Curd Fleischer, I'm not sure if I pronounced that completely properly, and I don't usually name names, but he is a member of the society that I'm a part of, and he did all six stages of the Mang Chang mission, and still didn't get enough clicks for one field on his texture. Like, that's insane. Six stages of a mission and still didn't even get enough clicks. I don't know how many Mang Chain he, he's killed. He's killed countless and countless and countless. I did... Here, look. I don't know how many. I think I only have 22 myself. And what did I get to in that mission? I only hunted the Mang Chain not for very long. I don't even think I got past the stage one. But I only got 20 of the hides, so that's, what's that, 6 leathers, so that's only 6 clicks on the blueprint, I believe, I, I'm pretty sure it's 1 leather per click. That's still really a pricey blueprint, pricey textures on this planet, that's, that's all I'm saying. I think it could be a bit better. The Crystal Peed, the Swamp Lurker, and... Crystal Peed, Swamp Lurker, and there was another one too. What was the... What was the other one? Crystal Peed, Swamp Lurker, Crystal Peed, Swamp Lurker, and I think it's Sea Wraith. Oh, we got our third hide there. Look at now we're on our way to Renag. We got a click. We can do a click on the panel line hide. Let's. I'll, I'll go and show you here in a second. I'm sure all of my blueprints are on this planet, so this is perfect. Sorry. I think I may have just said out loud, ow, my knees. Oh, there we go. Didn't want that to happen, but that guy's got a little sliver of health left. Either way, let's go in here. I'm going to show you what I mean by the blueprints. And, oh, come on. Let's see. Where are my hides here? Rhino Beetle Hide. 11... An 11 bed you know what I mean like did I do the Mang Chang ones yet to be honest I may have sold them one of these 
Paneline, there we go. So we got 10 Paneline, 13 ped worth of Paneline hides. Now, what we're gonna do, let's refine these. And I just wanna show, cause I'm fairly certain I have clicks of this. Four Paneline leathers at that. Oh, that's not what I wanted, my apologies. Go to the construction. Let's try pin. There we go. Look at four clicks. And that's not even the most expensive one. Well, let's do our four clicks. Let's just show you. We got soft tie. We got leather. But there's no markup on any of the textures usually because no one crafts these things. <laughs> I crafted Swamp Lurker texture and the amount that I would have had to have charged to try to make the, the actual back, I'm pretty sure I still got the texture to be honest. I don't think anybody ever ended up buying it. No, maybe I did sell it. I did sell it it wasn't for a lot that's for sure uh, where was the other one I wanted to show the Zeladoth Zeladoth leather texture as you can see the perfect leather look at 14.1 ped per click I'm just saying for something like the texture is fairly cool I highly doubt anybody's really gonna craft it though really Let's be reasonable here. It's not that anybody doesn't want to craft it, it's just it takes so damn long to gather the materials to craft it, I think, right? So, let's see what we got. We need 360 ped. We're gonna pop out all this stuff that we did get. We ended up getting... We had panel and I had not much, though. Um, this... Oh, piss off. That... This... 359 we're definitely getting there I'm sure some of the stuff too so we had about 360 pen and that's what we got about back so not horrible not perfect we didn't get didn't loot any guns that sometimes they pop up there and I just miss them so you never know it's, it's decent to check sometimes but we did get some loot back I hope you guys enjoyed this video not the most exciting I just wanted to get that out there but I appreciate everybody that's been watching and subscribing and keep an eye on Serene because they will be continuing to do these updates I guarantee that thank you for watching and have yourselves a great night